How to fit the Panic Exit device single door. First, check all components are present. It is also important to ensure that the door is prepped correctly. The tools required are a Phillips PH1 screwdriver, a Phillips PH2 screwdriver, a hacksaw, a 2.5mm Allen key and a 3mm Allen key. Please note that a left-handed door is shown for the purposes of this video. Take the main mechanism and insert the spindle, making sure a sufficient amount is protruding from the unit to pass through the lock but not sit proud of the outside face of the door. Once the correct position is determined, attach the spindle using the grub screw provided. This grub screw needs to be tight. Then take the external fixing plate and insert into the door prep, ensuring the large screw boss passes through the cylinder hole on the lock. Once this is done, attach the main mechanism unit to the cover plate using the three M5 screws provided. Then take the idler external fixing plate and insert into the door prep and attach the idler mechanism with the three M5 screws. Measure the width between the mechanism bodies. Then take the cross arm and cut to the correct length, which will be the width measurement minus 110 millimeters. If necessary, loosen the screws on either the main or idler mechanism to allow room to connect the cross arm. Fix the cross arm in place using the M6 by 8 millimeter grub screws provided. If you loosen the screws to fit the cross arm, at this stage they should be retightened. Check the operation of the mechanism with the door in the open position. Fully depress the cross arm and check that the latch is retracted. Then, lift the green snib and fully lift the cross arm to check that the lock fully engages, ensuring the mechanism operates smoothly with no binding. Fit the main mechanism cover and idler mechanism cover using the cover screws provided. Then fit the Lockmaster screw cover caps. The installation is now complete.